The small house at 47 Florence Road is one of the most storied homes in Northampton. This building had once been the oil mill house of Benjamin Barrett in the 1830s, providing housing and a workplace for laborers near the linseed oil mill of Josiah White on the Mill River. Rented by the Northampton Association of Education and Industry, it was once a boarding house for its teachers. In 1846, David Ruggles purchased the house, which became his home and the first building of his Northampton water cure. David Ruggles was one of the most daring agents of the Underground Railroad in New York City in the 1830s. In 1835, he became the founding secretary of the New York Committee of Vigilance, and in that capacity aided over 600 self-emancipated former slaves to freedom, including Frederick Douglass. Ruggles' health declined after 1840, and he was nearly blind when Liddy Mariah Child encouraged him to join the Northampton Association to find respite from the stresses of the city. Moving to the community in 1842, he nursed himself back to health using the techniques of the water cure, or hydropathy. When he had recovered enough, he organized a rally of black citizens in downtown Northampton in 1844. Sojourner Truth gave her first known public anti-slavery speech at that rally. She was one of his last patients and may have been by his bedside when he died at the young age of 39 on December 16, 1849. After a successor was found to take over the water cure, his small house was moved from its Spring Street location to the hill on South Street, now Florence Road. In 1856, the African-American Hannah Randall, an operative at the water cure, purchased the house and lived here until her death in 1883.